Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is fourth video of the retrofit libraries. So in the last videos we have used different method to load all the data from the server. So now in this video we will check the next method. So let me open my JSON placeholder. This is the fake API. So here you can see we have check all the get methods. So now we will check how we can post over post on the server. So we will use the post method to upload data on the server. So first of all, we have to open the project. So inside this service API, we have to create the method. So here I will create the call and we need to type here post. And then we have to create the method create post or you can say add post. So now we need to add here post. So here we have to pass the body. So let me type here body. So now we need to select the post. So here I will pass post and here we need to pass the variable post. Okay. And here we have to annotate it. So here we have to create the post method and here we have to create the curly braces and we need to pass here post. So here I will pass post like this so let me open our json placeholder here i will open the uh, link of the post so here you can see we have at the end we have posts so i will pass here post and here this is our main link so we will provide all these data to the post so open android studio again and open the main activity here we have loaded all the data from the server so now we have a need of this data so now what we will do here we will close all the code you can remove this or you can add here comments okay now we will create another method okay now inside the main activity as you can see here we have already created the service api so now we will use this variable and here we will call service api dot add post so add post we have created inside the service api so we will call this and here we need to pass the post so first of all we have to create the post and if i open the post class this post class is generated by the pojo to json to pojo tool json schema to pojo never add the constructor by default so we need to add ourselves so here i will press alt insert to select the constructor so here we have four variable so this id is generated by the system we have a need to add this id so we will select the other three variables so here i will select the other three variable and click ok so now our constructor is ready so now go to main activity and here we need to create the post so let me create the post here okay now here we need to pass three variables so first is user id so let's say i type here any user id one two three and here we will pass any title and the last variable is a uh, string body so here we will pass any text okay so now our post class is ready so now we need to pass here okay so now finally we will call this in queue method and here we need to create new callback method okay so here we need to create the exception so you can simply show a toast message so now we need to show the response so let me open our json placeholder this is a fake server so when we add our post on this server it will not show the post on this server but we will get the response according to this post so let me show here toast message so if response dot not successful so here we have to simply add not and here we need to simply return okay now in else side else conditions we have to show toast message okay now here we need to uh, show a to our response dot get okay so let's run the application and let's see either our post is added on the server or not so as you can see here we have 201 response so let me open our google chrome and if i open here search here 201 json response you can see here we have successfully added the post on the server 
if we have any error while adding the post we will get 404 later we will also create over server to add our data and we will see where we have added the data on the server as well okay now we will create a second method of the post how we can add our post by any other method so first of all we will create here call and then we have to pass here post and here we have to call the method add post second method i simply call um, this name okay so now we have to create a uh, different fields so how we can pass different fields here so i will type here at field so here we have to pass here id of the field so let me open over json placeholder so as you can see here we have different fields so we will add same variable otherwise our application will crash or it will give us the response 404 so here we will create int and we will call it simply user id okay so now i will duplicate this line and we will change the next variable that is title so as i already explained id is by default so here i will simply call it title okay now again duplicate this line and finally we will add here body okay now over the second method is also created so here we need to create here post because this method is from the post so now again we have to pass here post sorry for that okay now if we want to use any other converter factory like xml or any other field like html xml you have to encode it so let's say i type here at and here we have to select this from url encoded okay now we need to go to main activity here and here we need to pass the field one by one so we have to remove this post or you can comment it and here we need to pass different variables so here i will call it second method and here we need to pass three parameters so first parameter is over user id so let's say i type here one two three and second parameter is the title so let's say i type here title again and the third parameter is the body so here i will type here body okay okay sorry for that actually we have to add here string because it's in string form okay now our body and title are in string form so we have to add here title and body okay okay now let's run the application again and let's see okay again you can see here we have 201 so it's mean our post is successfully uploaded on the server so let's say i used any other method so let me here create another method call and we will use different techniques to add the post so here we have to create different methods so add post third method and here we need to type here field map so let's say i type here field map and here i will type here map because we want to add the key value pair so here i will type here string and again we need to pass here string okay so now i will simply call it map so here again i will put a semicolon now we have issue here because i forgot the semicolon okay so now we need to annotate it so here i will pass here post so here i will pass here post like this and we have to pass the end of the url so again you can add this form url like that okay now we will use this third method and inside the main activity here we will use third method like this and here we need to create the map so as you can see here we have already created the hash map and here we will uh, edit the hash map or you can also create the second hash map so let's say i create the new hash map so here i will create the hash map equal to new hash map like this and here we have to add some values to the hash map so you can also create the map or hash map doesn't matter 
okay so now we have to add the same variable that available on the json server so here you can see we have user id so we will use the same as it is so now we will add the values so again we have to duplicate this line and now we have title and then we have a body because this is in string form so here we have to add inverted commas so here i can type here title and duplicate this line and now we have to change this into body okay now we will add this hash map here okay so now again let's test the application and let's see okay here you can see we have 201 okay in this way we can use different method to upload the data on the server so we will continue from the next video so if you have any question any problem you can ask me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel see you next video take care